You don't have a powerful computer, but you still want to run the latest LLM models? Well, I've got the solution for you. Hello humans, my name is Kayo Air Overload, and today I will show you how to run pretty much every local LLM models inside the Tech Generation Wave UI using the cloud, for either completely free or for a few cents an hour using RunPod. So after this video, it won't matter who you are or what's your budget, you'll be able to run pretty much any local LLM model you want, even without a powerful computer. So that being said, let's go. Okay. So before we begin, let me just say that this video will be very important for a lot of my future videos. And that is because if you want to run a powerful LLM model that takes a lot of VRAM, even if you have a very powerful GPU like a 3090 with 24 gigabytes of VRAM, there are still certain models that you cannot run. Like for example, if you want to run the Llama 65 billion parameters model, a simple 3090 with only 24 gigabytes of VRAM will not be enough. But the problem is that a 3090 or a 1490 are the most powerful GPUs that a consumer can buy right now, meaning that you're limited with only 24 gigabytes of VRAM. However, if now you use a website like RunPod that allows you to rent a GPU for only a few cents an hour, this limitation is now completely gone. Because let's say for example that I want to run a very powerful model that requires like, I don't know, 40 gigabytes of VRAM, I can for example go on RunPod, rent a 48 gigabytes of VRAM GPU for only 79 cents an hour and run that big model using that super powerful GPU. And I can tell you that paying only 79 cents an hour compared to actually buying the full GPU to yourself is uh, gonna be, um, yeah, it's gonna be way cheaper. Which uh, really makes websites like RunPod a gift from God. Now, of course, you don't necessarily need to use RunPod. You can use other websites like Vaz.ai. But personally, I've been using RunPod for like almost a year now. It's really good. It's really cheap. It's easy to use. Now, obviously, I need to say this, but I'm not sponsored by RunPod. They don't pay me to say good things about their company. I really just like using their services. And before buying a 3090, I was using this website every single day. Because, like, for example, renting a 3090 only costs you like 20 29 cents an hour. So, I mean, yeah, it's a bargain. It's definitely cheaper than trying to buy one yourself. But the real reason why I like RunPod over other websites is the fact that here they have a bunch of templates. So with only one click, you can automatically install an application. Like for example, you can install Stable Diffusion or Invoke AI or Cobalt AI and a bunch of other applications made by the community. And of course, one of the best things is that they have a tech generation web UI application. So with only one click, you can easily install the Ubabuga tech generation web UI on your rented GPU. However, the problem is that as of right now, it is using like an older version of the web UI, so you won't really have all the newest features. However, one good thing is that it comes prepackaged with the Pygmalion 6B model. So if you like using the Pygmalion 6 billion model and you don't mind using an older version of the web UI, well, you can simply use this template. But don't worry because now I will show you how to use the latest version of the Wave UI so that you can run any model that you want. And I really mean any model. Okay, so the first thing that you're gonna do is that you're gonna go in the description down below and you're gonna click on the first two links. The first will be a link to the rompod.io website and the second link will be a link to a pastebin. And in that pastebin, you will see a bunch of commands. And I prepared all these commands for you because this is all the things that you need to use so that you can run the web UI in the latest version. Now, I know this seems a little bit complex, but don't worry, it is actually very, very easy. Now, the second thing that you need to do is to select a GPU. And for this, you can either choose Secure Cloud or Community Cloud. And basically, the difference between them is that Secure Cloud is basically a little bit more faster, more responsive, whereas Community Cloud is a little bit slower, but also a little bit cheaper. So if the importance for you is the pricing and not the speed of the connection, you can simply choose a GPU from the community cloud. Now this is on paper because in reality when you use them, you don't really see a lot of differences. It's only when you need for example to download a big model that you see the difference in the download speed. Which is why for this video I will simply be choosing a GPU from the secure cloud option. And of course I highly recommend that you choose a GPU with at least 24 gigabytes of VRAM, like a 3090 or an A5000, because I think that personally this is the best bang for your buck. So here 
for example, I'm going to choose a 3090 and I'm going to click on deploy. And next, it's going to ask you to choose a template. So of course, you're going to click here, scroll down until you see the Rumpod Tech Generation UI. You're going to click on it. And here, as I said, if you don't mind using the old version of the Wave UI, you don't necessarily need to do anything else. And you're going to simply click on continue so that you can use the Wave UI in combination with the Pygmalion 6 billion parameters model. However, this is not what I want. And I want to use the newest version of the Wave UI. So for this, you're going to click here in Edit Template Overrides and under Container Image, you're going to change the Ubabuga 1.0.1 to 1.1.0. And then here under container disk, instead of only 5 gigabytes, you're going to input something like 50 gigabytes. This is the amount of space that you will have on your disk so that you can download bigger models. Because yes, only 5 gigabytes of space will not be enough to download like a 30 billion parameter model. So then when you're done, you're going to click on set overrides and then click continue. Then it's going to give you your pricing summary, which in our case will cost us around 44 cents an hour. All of that for a 3090. I mean, come on, this is pretty cheap. Because I mean, if you look at the prices of a new 3090, which costs like almost like $1,500, which is basically the equivalent of using 3,350 hours of GPU renting, which is basically 139 days of non-stop use. And since you're not going to be using this 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, renting a 3090 will definitely be way cheaper. Okay, so then after we're done, you're going to click on deploy. And as you can see, now your pod is being built. So now if I click on my pods, you see here that now it is downloading and installing the Uber Boga Tech Generation Wave UI. Now, it might take some time, so be patient. It might take between like two to five minutes for everything to be ready. But for this step, you don't need to do anything. You just need to wait. So again, just be patient. And there we go. So after a few minutes, our pod is now completely ready. However, we cannot use it as is. Because for example, if you click on connect and click on connect via HTTP, you will see that everything works, but we're still using an older version of the Web UI. So if you want to have all the bells and whistles and be able to use any model that you want, here is what you need to do. So first, you're going to click on connect, click on start web terminal, and then connect to web terminal. And you will see the following black screen. Now, don't worry if you've never used this before. This is basically kind of like your command prompt window that you have on your computer. It might sound very complex and very scary, but this is where my commands come into play. Because all you need to do now is just select each and every line, click copy, then go inside the web terminal, and then click on paste. And then you're going to press enter. And now you're going to do the same thing for every single line. So yeah, really not that difficult. So here, for example, we use the first line, which is git pull, which basically updated the web UI to the latest version. And now we're going to use the second line that says pip install requirements that will basically install all the requirements that it needs to run the newest version. So again, I'm going to paste it and then press enter. Again, you need to be a little bit patient. It might take a few minutes to download everything. So don't panic if you think this is stuck. It is just installing everything it needs. And there we go. Now every requirements were installed. And now we're going to do the same thing for every single line. Now for this block, for example, you can actually use this entire block. Just click copy and then paste it. Then it's going to stop right here on the setup CUDA.py install. You just need to press enter again to continue the installation. Here, it might take some time. So again, be patient. Just, you know, don't panic. Everything is fine. Once you've done it once, you're going to do it all the time. So again, if you think this is stuck, do not be afraid. It just takes a few minutes. So just wait for everything to be installed. And there you go. And now we're going to do the same thing for the rest. So select, click copy, then right click, paste, and then press enter. And now, well, we're pretty much done because we have only one line left. So now again, just like the others, right click, copy, then right click, paste, press enter, which if you did everything correctly, should give you a public URL that if you you click on it, will load the latest version of the web UI. Congratulations! Now you're running the latest version of the Ubabuga Tech Generation web UI on your rented 3090 GPU. But now technically we're still not done because we need to download a model that we want to use. So let's take for example that you want to use the Pygmalion 13 million parameters model so that you can do some uh, sexy schmexy roleplay. Well, you can click the link in the description down below. You're gonna arrive on this page. Then you're gonna click on this little icon right here to copy this entire name. And then under the model tab, under the load custom model or LoRa, you're gonna paste the name right here and then click on download. And this will start downloading your model. Now again, be patient, it might take some time. It is a seven gigabytes model after all, but the download speed is fairly good, so it should be pretty fast. And yeah, there you go, in like around one minute, we downloaded like an eight gigabytes file for the Pygmalion 13 billion model. And now, if you want to load the model, first you're gonna auto load the model, which is very annoying. Then you're gonna click here, 
to refresh the list and then select the Pygmalion 13 billion model. Make sure that you have auto devices activated and here for the GPTQ parameters, you're going to select 4 for the W bits, 128 for the group size and Llama for the model type. And then you're going to click on the button load the model. And after a few seconds of loading, our Pygmalion 13 billion model is now completely loaded and ready to be used. Simple as that. And you can of course use that same method to download and use any model that you want. And also use the same method with any GPU that you want. Here I chose simply the 3090 because it was kind of like the cheapest option and the best bang for your buck. But if you want something more powerful and you don't mind paying a little bit, you can rent like an 80 gigabytes VRAM GPU for even more power. So now you can really have some fun, if you know what I mean. Okay, so now let's say that you don't have a single cent to spend on a GPU renting site. Can you run the web UI for absolutely free? Well, of course you can, because just for you, I made a Google Colab doc and you can use this Google Colab doc to run the web UI for absolutely free. And this will even download the Pygmalion 13 billion parameter model so that you can use it immediately. And everything is done so that everyone can use it very easily. A big thank you to Kamendru for providing the code. I've actually used the exact same code that he provided for the Google Colab doc, but I just modified it a little bit so that it uses the latest version of the web UI. And to run this, it is of course very easy. First, all you need to do is just press here and run the first cell and then press play so that Google Colab did not disconnect you. And then you're gonna press on this button right here to run the second cell. And this will basically install the web UI and the Pygmalion 13 billion parameter model absolutely automatically. You don't need to do anything. You just need to wait until everything is done, until everything is installed, and until you get a public URL. Exactly like we had with RunPod. So again, be patient until everything is done. And there we go, after a few minutes, the web UI is installed, the Pygmalion 13 billion parameter model is downloaded and installed too, and here just like with RunPod, you will see a public URL that, if you click on it, will load the web UI and the Pygmalion 13 billion parameter model that you can use right now. Simple as that. And of course, just like with RunPod, you can input here the name of another model and download any model that you want and use it as if this was on your local computer. However, you might be thinking, okay, so why should I use RunPod and pay money when I can use the Google Colab Doc for absolutely free? Well, that is because the GPU that you receive on the free version of the Google Colab Doc is usually a GPU with around 15 gigabytes of VRAM. Meaning that if you want to run bigger, more powerful models, you will run out of memory very fast. So basically everything above a 13 billion parameter model with 4-bit quantization, of course, will not work with the Google Colab Doc. However, if you don't care, and if you just want to use it to talk to your AI girlfriend using the Pygmalion 13 billion parameter model, well, in that case, you can simply use the Google Colab Doc. You don't need to use RunPod for that. But if you want to use a bigger model, a more powerful model, that I will probably show you tomorrow, well, in that case, you will need a very powerful GPU, which is why a website like RunPod is really a gift from God. This is really super useful. So yeah, there you are, it, folks. Now I think that no matter who you are, where you come from, what your budget is, you should be able to run the web UI for absolutely free without any restrictions and get some of that sexy schmexy role playing without any censorship. So have fun. And there we have it, folks. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Thank you also so much to my Patreon supporters for supporting my videos. You guys are absolutely awesome. You people are the ones who support me so I can make these videos for you. So thank you so much. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.